Celebrate the patron saint of f f f f forks, good Saint Swiven, who drove off the giant of Spatchmere, armed with only common cutlery and a very big club. <laughs> Traditionally, I give you all the afternoon off, and seeing as this year's festival is larger and more special than ever, I've decided we should all stay at school and do extra rehearsals for the school play, Sir Udolfo and the Witches of East Twickenham. <laughs> there must be some way for us to get the afternoon off school so we can go to the festival. The only way we could go is if we didn't have to rehearse the play. And the only way school would be cancelled is if St. Swiven's Day was made a castle holiday. And the only person who can make St. Swiven's Day a castle holiday is... My dad! <laughs> dad! Oh. Dad! We need to talk to you! Certainly, Liddy, my dear. Oh, Geoffrey, you're not going to wear that robe to the St. Swithin's Day Fork Festival, are you? Oh, <laughs> no, dear. I just put it on because I was feeling uh, chilly. Good. I'd never live it down if you wore ermine with gold. Everyone knows ermine goes with pearls. Really, Geoffrey, you have to dress for success. Do you want to be a baron all your life? Yes, dear. I mean, no, dear. Dad! It's really important! Of course, Liddy, you were saying. Well, now, Geoffrey, don't forget to snub Mrs. Earl Stephanie and cut Lady Gertrude, but don't snub Baroness Lillian and positively fall over Queen Jezebel. Uh, of course, dear. I'm sorry, Liddy. I've got to go and practice me snubbing looks and cutting comments. <laughs> If we're going to get St. Swithin's Day made into a castle holiday, we're going to have to do something big to get my dad's attention. That just might do it. Five funny looking gnomes in the road. Oh, uh, yes, dear. We are not gnomes, we are witches. Show them, Schmidt. I mean, witch number two. Sorry. All hail, McGruff, Baron of Castle Gruff. <laughs> Lord of the land of <laughs> Gruff. All hail McGruff, liege of the thief of Gruff. Say hello to the nice witches, Geoffrey. <sighs> hello, nice witches. McGruff, by the power of the dragon's armpits, if you perform three magical tasks, Immeasurable power. How immeasurable? Um, immeasurably immeasurable. Will I be as powerful as King Trepid? More powerful. Will I be as rich as King Trepid? Far richer. Will I be better looking than King Trepid? Let's not go that far. The only thing more powerful than a king is oh. another king. Imagine it, Geoffrey the First, and I'll be queen. Rich and powerful. 
<laughs> Two out of three isn't bad. Okay, what do I have to do? First, roll up your underhose. Secondly, put this magical chicken on your head. And third, make St. Swithin's Day a castle holiday. Easy. St. Swithin's Day is officially declared a castle holiday by order of King Gruff. Long live King Gruff! Hooray! <laughs> the new growths are back from the treasury, sire. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Stamp out a million of them and put them under the royal mattress for safekeeping. Wasn't it nice of Mrs. Earl Stephanie to give me this dress? Especially after I had a condemned to the dungeon. Come here often. Tommy, take a message to ex King Trepid at former capital Dot Castle from King Gruff. <laughs> I think that says it all, don't you? Deliver it immediately. <laughs> What is the meaning of this, sire? That's what I said. That's what I said, sire. What do you mean, Quaff? You must address me, your new king, as sire. But seeing as it's you, ex-King Trepid, you can just call me King Jeff. You, you, traitor! I will depose you immediately, you usurping leech! Oh, yeah. You are old army. Um, mine. <laughs> oh, pox. Oh. Well, this isn't a very exciting festival. Oh, where are all the fork vendors? Where's all the fun? Folks, lovely folks, get them while they're hot. <gasps> They melted that down to make armour for the upcoming war. But where is St. Swithin's mighty club? Oh, they got split up into smaller clubs to arm the armies who are fighting in the upcoming war. But where is the giant's mighty helmet? Oh, they got divided between the soldiers who are going to fight in the upcoming... Oh, no, it's a lie. It's over there in the bin. In the bin? How could they throw away... Hang on... What war? Why, the war between old King Trepid and new King Gruff. That's what war. Dad, you can't win a war against King Trepid. He's too powerful. But, Liddy, if I don't fight, I'm sure to lose my castle, my lands, my money. Not to mention my head. Liddy, dear, have a little faith in your father. And besides, those nice witches said your father was sure to win. Let loose the dogs of war! <laughs> no, stop, stop, down, Rover! Down, down, sit! This is all our fault. If we hadn't dressed up as witches, then Dad would never have thought he would be king. And he would never have challenged King Trepid! Well, there's only one thing left to do. Say goodbye and go home. No, we must stop this war. And I think I know how. Say, um, rough. Sorry? Oh, just get on with it. At my command! Yeah. Wait! This battle cannot begin! It is written in the entrails of this turnip that you shall not fight until the Burbank Wood has come to Castle Gruff. You live in the Burbank Wood, King Gruff. Where do you want him then? Oh, Pox. Wait, you cannot fight. You are too full of the milk of human kindness to start a war. Oh, Geoffrey, you forgot to drink your milk. You can't fight a battle on an empty stomach. The, the battle cannot start on 
until there is a tale told by an idiot signifying nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Enough of this nonsense! Wait! You can't fight! Why not? Um, because we have something to show you. We were the witches all along. The whole prophecy of Dad becoming king was just a way to get the day off school for the St. Swithin's Day Pork Festival. <laughs> the old dressing up of witches to get the day off school gag. I used to do it all the time back in kindergarten. Get them every time. <laughs> Come on, Guppy. All is forgiven. up here? Oh, absolutely! What could possibly go wrong? I now pronounce you king. All hail the king! Yes! Hooray! Well, all's well that ends well. That's not even the right place. Don't spoil the moment.